so in this video uh, we will understand uh, verilog code for hop adder okay so using uh, assign a statement or you can say that data flow so first we will understand the circuit of hop adder how it look like and then we will go for the coding so basically what is hop adder is this is hop adder which having input a and suppose b and then its output there are two outputs so take at one output is sum and another is carry so basically this is the hop adder so if you go for the circuit inside half adder how it will be so it will be like a b so sum will be of like a zor b okay so it is like a zor b and then carry is of like this is and so carry is a dot b so basically this is the circuit of uh, half header and uh, then this is and if you go for the truth table let's design also truth table so it will be easy for us to understand it okay so to input it will be of four combination so 0 0 add will it will be 0 carry 0 then sum 1 carry 0 sum 1 carry 0 and then sum 0 carry 1 so you can write like how it is sum is equal to a complement b plus a b complement which is equal to a or b and carry is equal to uh, that is a and b so basically this is coming so let's see the uh, verilog code for it so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe uh, so that uh, you can get updates uh, now let's see the coding so one more thing i will say here one more thing is that so suppose here this is a module and this is another module that is called test bench module so basically it has input a and b and then output is sum and carry okay so test bench uh, will generate a stimuli so for that this this will be connected to the uh, so uh, test bench is uh, this will be connected to a so that a stimulus generated by test bench will be given to the a input of some, um, this module and then b will be connected to the this so that uh, whatever the input uh, coming from the test bench will be given to the sum uh, mode uh, half header and it will do some operation and it will be give the output so basically we will see the verilog code for half header with the test bench and we will see in the web form okay so we have already written the verilog code and test bench so first understand it so basically uh, in verilog uh, it always start with module and then in module and then name of the module that is half adder and what are the inputs uh, outputs are there so a and b are in uh, a b and sum and carry are the variables in which input is a and b and output are sum and carry uh, so in data flow module we used to write assign okay so assign sum equal to a or b so this is operator which is uh, used for the zor operation okay and then assign carry uh, that is equal to a and b so and operation is uh, uh, given like uh, ampersand so this is uh, the module and then we will go for the test bench as we have seen uh, how it will be connected so in the test bench also it will start with module and then in with in module and then the test bench module name and there is no any input output uh, variables are there in the test bench basically there will be only uh, connection uh, to give the stimulus so a and b are 
connection uh, that is raised why raised because a and b will be generated uh, from the test bench so it will change whenever it will uh, change that is why it is given as a raise and what are the uh, buyer that is some and carry are the buyers so now we are going to instantiate that half half header module so this is the name and the same name is uh, we have instantiated in the test bench and then name dut that is design under test and we are connecting uh, dot a dot uh, a with a and b the b and some with some and carry with carry like uh, we have we have seen in the ppt uh, uh, i have shown you okay like uh, so like this uh, test bench a is connected with a and b is connected with it and then sum is also connected with the uh, display type uh, bay form okay so uh, sum and carry so in the same way in the very log code we have written now what is this this is for generating the dump file bay form so initial begin dump file dump dot vcd and then this is dump as one now uh, if we want to see the what is happening uh, then uh, we can write is like initial begin and then monitor so a b and these are the binary form so uh, writing like this so we will we can see in the console that uh, uh, how uh, the out input is given and output is coming correct or not so and these are the uh, stimulus uh, which are which is given by the uh, test bench so we are giving with a equal to 0 b is equal to 0 and after uh, 5 nanosecond why 5, 5 nanosecond because the in here time scale uh, we have set it that one nanosecond okay nanosecond so these are the stimulus which is given like uh, if two inputs for uh, four uh, uh, types you can get it like uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so after uh, different different time interval we are giving the input and then we are finishing that the after this much time finish that uh, generation of a stimulus and then in that uh, test bench okay so now we will see that uh, it is coming or not so after saving that uh, save that all code and then run it if you are new to my channel please subscribe uh, so that you will get updated now see the waveform so uh, click here and now you will see a is 0 b is 0 so what is coming sum is 0 and carry is 0 uh, now after 5 nanosecond again we are giving the stimulus like a is 0 b is 1 so what will you get sum is 1 and carry is 0 and then after 10 nanosecond what we are giving from, from 10 nanosecond to 10 nanosecond we, we are giving that uh, input of uh, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 so what will you get sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 in the same way after 20 nanosecond we were giving the input a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 so how what will we get uh, carry is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 0 so we are getting that correct so we are getting the correct functionality of uh, half header using the data flow model so thank you for watching this video uh, please do subscribe my channel to support uh, this channel